Hello guys. So in this particular section, we'll be discussing about the next part. That is about the causes of the labor movement in Maharashtra. And with that, we'll be seeing some contributions of LM Lokhande and also what was the nature of the labor movements in Maharashtra. So let's start the discussion. Yes. So the first bit that we'll be discussing today was is sorry causes of labor movement okay so what happened was see the industrial development took place in maharashtra sorry mumbai to be specific that's why the development of labor movement also took place in mumbai okay so what happened was the main problem for this was land share Lang share. What was the problem of the land share? See, initially the cotton textile mill was famous from the land share. But as soon as the Indian market got boon, okay, there was no demand from the land share in the European market. Okay, everyone was demanding Indian goods. So there's no demand for the land share. Due to this particular thing, the, the industrialists in land share decided that they would be troubling the cotton industries in India. What they'll be doing? They'll be troubling the cotton industries. Why? Because there was no demand from the land share. The whole market of the land share got collapsed because of the market of India. That's why the industrialist in land share or the cotton textile mill owners in land share, what they did, they decided that they would be troubling the cotton textile industries in Mumbai. Okay. So, uh, how they did this? They started whatever plants they had in India, they started to suppress and harass the workers in Mumbai. Okay, so this harassment was going on, going on, going on continuously. And after a point or after some time, the demand for labor movements came forward. The demand for labor movement came the demand for labor movement came forward. Okay. As they were expected to a greater extent and to end this particular things, it came forward. Okay. So first thing what happened, the mill owners in Bombay came together. Okay, the mill owners in Bombay. What happened? They all came together. Okay. And they have set up a union which is called as Bombay Mill Owners. Association. Okay, and what happened at this point of time? A Royal Mill Commission was formed by the British officer in Mumbai. Okay, the British officer in Mumbai formed Royal Indian uh, Mill Commission. Mill Commission was formed under the British officer in Mumbai, whose name was Mr. Brown. Okay, what he did. He reported to the government. Okay, what he did? He reported to government that women and children below 12 years. Okay, what he reported? The women and children below 12 years were exploited. So, to end this exploitation, we need a factory act. Okay, this was the recommendation of Mr. Brown, was the officer at Mumbai. Okay, so what happened at this point of time after this particular recommendation mill owners also demanded okay what mill owners demanded to establish a commission for inspection of work they said okay, these charges are not correct but if you want to validate this particular thing please appoint a commission for the inspection of this particular thing the statement given by okay so there was also a conditional pressure from the Manchester for this. Okay, from Manchester for this commission. So, government appointed a commission, finally. Okay, so government appointed a commission on 3rd of March, 1870. And who led this particular thing? The collector of Mumbai. Mumbai. Collector whose name was Mr. Arbot Not. 
okay and in this particular commission some mill owners famous mill owners like mangaldas natu bhai dinsha patel and morarji gokulas these three people were included in this particular commission okay and finally it presented a report which was accepted by the government report which was accepted by the government the report was easily accepted by the government okay now what happened under surab ji sha Purji Bengali was also called as Bengali. Okay, under uh, Sourabji Sapurji Bengali in the year eighteen seventy five, what happened? Uh, law was demanded. Uh, they they demanded a law. Why law? To improve the condition of workers. To improve the conditions of workers. They demanded a law for the improvement improvisation of the condition of workers. Okay. Then what happened in the year eighteen seventy nine? there was a recession in mumbai okay there was a huge recession in mumbai which led to deep economic crisis okay which led to deep economic crisis okay and due to this particular thing what happened so the first factory act was passed in the year 1881 okay the first act reflected came into picture in the 1881 okay so you guys need to tell me who was the governor general during this point of time okay in 1881 who was the governor general of india okay you just need to comment it okay or voice right whatever you got governor general was right who was there at this point of time in 1881 just comment it in the comment box okay but thing was though this factory act was passed first factory act came in 1881 but it was in the favor of would it be in the favor of workers obviously no it was in the favor of workers own oh, for owner not worker but owners so unrest among worker so unrest among the workers again started okay unrest among the workers increased you can say in simple terms unrest among the workers increased and this led to the labor movements further okay this led to the labor movements further okay now uh, we, go, we are going to see about the next one of the most important person in the context of labor movement whose name is l n sir n m lokhand he is often called as father of Labor movements in India. NM Lokhande, okay, father of labor movements in India. So you can say he was born. Talking about some background of his, he was born in eighteen forty eight in Thane. Okay, he was born in eighteen forty eight in Thane. His native place was Kanher sir, which was near Pune. Or in Pune, you can say. Okay. So you can say he started his social work in 1870. Okay. So, uh, what was the main cause of concern? He said that mill owners, what they are doing, they didn't follow the rules and law. Okay, whatever rules and laws were made, the mill owners are not following this particular thing. Okay, and what he did, so he started, and to resist this particular thing, he started a movement against them. What he did, he started a movement against them. Started a simple movement against them. Okay, he criticized uh, in this particular stance. What he did, he also criticized government for not taking any action. 
Okay. He also criticized the government for not taking any action against this particular thing. And to do it on large scale, what he did? He established the first ever labor union. Most important thing. Okay. What he did? He established the first ever labor union in not only in Maharashtra. First labor union in India. Okay. What is the name? The name was Bombay. Mel Kali. Not in Ma India, Maharashtra. Okay. Bombay Mill Hands Association. What was the name? Bombay Mill Hands Association. It was established on 23rd of September 1884. 23rd of September 1884. Bombay Mill Hands Association. First labor union in Maharashtra. It was supposed to be the first labor union in Maharashtra. Bombay Mill Hands Association established on 23rd September 1884. Okay. Its first meet was convened at Parade in Mumbai itself. Okay. And shocking thing was 10,000 workers attended. Okay. What these people did? These people formulated a paper which was nothing but the demand of the workers. Demand of workers. Okay. And they submitted this particular thing to uh, what you can say a person uh, who was a president of factory commission. To the president of factory commission whose name was W. B. Mulan. To him they submitted all the demands. Okay. A few important demands amongst them were Sunday holidays which was granted on 10th of June 1890, not 19, sorry, 1890. Okay, then uh, due to this particular work, he was awarded a title of Rao Bahadur. He was awarded a title of Rao Bahadur in the year 1895. Rao Bahadur, he was given a title of Rao Bahadur in the year 1895. Okay, then also he was given the award of Justice of Peace. He was given the word justice of peace for work during Hindu Muslim riots. Okay, and this particular man finally passed away in 1897 due to pain. Passed away in 1897. So in this particular moment, we'll, uh, in this particular session, we'll stop over here. The upcoming session, we'll be discussing about the nature of labor. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this particular session. Do comment if any feedbacks from your end. Thank you.